my beautiful. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, my beautiful dreamer? This is your girl Shalinda One, and I'm back. I'm back. Uh, uh, I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Welcome back for another video. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Hello to all our new beautiful dreamers. Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome back for another video. Okay, so. All right, all right, okay, right? So let me tell you what happened, right? Let me tell you what happened, right? Okay. So I would love to tell you that my camera broke down or that my computer exploded or something, but the truth is, the cable people, they wanted their money. Did you know you gotta pay for the internet? Like, you gotta pay, like, your bills? You tell them, right? You had no idea. You actually have to pay a bill. So they tried to cut me off. <laughs> they cut me off. So I called them and I was like, you know, you know I'm going through hard times. Can I give you a deposit? Can I put something on it? They said, no, give me my money. So I was off for, what, almost a month? Has it been a month? Something like that, a few weeks. And I was off, child, but I finally get paid. I finally gave them their money because I was like, okay, y'all tripped and y'all see, you know, you think you can wake somebody up like, you cut it off, kid. I don't care. I don't care, but yeah, they cut, they cut it off and they wasn't playing about not turning back on top end. So I finally gave them money. <laughs> finally gave them their money and um, I'm here to make another video. So like I said, first of all, welcome to all our new beautiful dreamers. We've had so many people join us and we want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Please chime in. This is your this is this is your world now. Feel free to ask questions, whatever it is. Have a ball. Um, hair update. I am still loving my hair very much. I am really I've really been loving my hair. Um, okay, so let me let, I guess before I tell you what this is, let me tell you what I've been doing. So with this video, I want to discuss the products that I'm currently using so that when I go into the next video, I don't have to talk about it then. Cool, okay. So, about my hair. Um, what I'm doing is, you guys remember my two flat twist tutorial video. If you don't know what it is, I'm gonna try to link it somewhere here, or it'll definitely be in the description box. That has been my go-to, hands down, my almost basically my everyday hairstyle honestly um and what i do is one day out of the week usually it's a friday or saturday i would take the twist out and i fluff it out just like this and i'll wear my hair out like this or up in a loose ponytail you know you can cute updos. I think one day I'm going to make a video of all the different um, styles that you could do with the twist out um, when you take out the twist out. But that has been my go-to. I wear it every single day. Um, you know, I'm cute. Well, let me change that. She cute. And when I say she, I mean me. If y'all was watching Tamar last night, y'all know where I get that from. I love, did I tell you I love Tamar? I love her so much. So she cute. So she don't you know, I wasn't concerned about rocking a twist every day because so <laughs> so crazy. So that's what I've been um, doing. And like I said, on a Friday or Saturday, I'll take it out. And that's only if I'm going somewhere. If I'm not going anywhere, it's not that serious. Um, so let me tell you about some of the products I've been using. Um, okay, where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? Um, okay, let's start with shampoos, right? Okay. So can I say something? My hair really is not big on shampoos anymore it's really not on my hair you know if it's not loving shampoos that much however it depends on the type of shampoo so what i'm doing right now is i use shampoo twice a month however i cleanse my hair once a week okay so let's just say there's four weeks in a month right week one I usually do that's my cleansing so I'll use the um, the Cura Care first step to really deeply cleanse my hair then after that I'll go in with the um, hydrating detangling shampoo from Cura Care you're gonna see Cura Care a lot in this video 
I love this because it um, it definitely uh, hydrates as well as detangle my hair. Now, for my long time followers, I know y'all like, hold up, wait a minute, pimp and let me put some pimping in it. Where is the Shea Moisture's Retention Shampoo? Still love it, love it, love it, love it. However, and I do have a video coming up on about on what I'm about to talk about is, you have to pay attention to what your hair is telling you. I noticed that when I use it, though my hair was moisturized and wonderful, I shed it a lot. And when I look at my, my shedded hair, I'm almost like, well, dad, why am I shedding so much? The moment I stopped using it, I noticed that my shedding decreased tremendously. So I don't know what's in the shampoo that's making me shed. I'm still doing some research on that. However, for me, it did make my hair shed. So I have pulled back off of it. And um, right now, I'm not using it at all. However, that doesn't mean I won't use it. You guys know how much I love that shampoo just for what it does to my hair. But for now, I'm using the Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. Love this shampoo. On week two, well, this is week one and three. One and three, I'm using this. On weeks two and four, I'm also using the Care Care, but I'm using the cleansing cream. This is the cleansing cream. Um, Sulfate free moisturizing, I know, uh, moisturizing curl wash. But I'm using on weeks two and four. Okay, so let me just say, I deep condition my hair twice a week. I deep condition my hair on dry hair. So, um, my, I, I, my wash days are Wednesdays and Sundays. So on Wednesday, so on Sunday, I will either cleanse my, well, first of all, I'll deep condition my hair with, well, first I'll detangle it. You all know that I use my moisturizing spritz to detangle my hair. There's a video, I'll link it at the bottom for my detangling process. And then I will deep condition my hair. I'm using my Hermecto Cream Conditioner. I love this conditioner. It is Amaze Balls. Love it, love it, love it. My hair loves it. Add me some glycerin. I, you know, I add my oils and I'm, you know, I add a lot of oils. My olive oil, olive oil, honey, my, um, my jojoba oil, my avocado oil, a bunch of oils. We will talk about that in another video. I add my oils and I put this up in my hair and I will show you my deep conditioning uh, method because I don't get under the dryer and it's kind of funny to look at but it really really works wonders for my hair my hair loves it so I'll definitely do a video on that but this is what I use to deep condition my hair on Sundays on Wednesdays I deep condition my hair with something that I've been sleeping on it. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. And that is the Silk Element Mega Cholesterol. Stop the freaking presses. I had no idea that my hair would love cholesterol. I don't know why. I just, you know, I decided to try it. And my hair, especially my new growth, melts with this stuff. This stuff, well, both of these, my new growth melts. My hair is just like, ooh, la, la. Okay, y'all want me to sing it? I can't. Okay, I'm sorry. It's in my mind. Okay. So, I use this, my silk elements, and I'll add one of my moisturizing conditioners, whether it's the Tresemme um, moisturizer, whether it's the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? The um the Nexus Humexus, I'll mo I'll mix with this to my moisturizing deep conditioner. I'll add my oils, of course, and I'll put this in my hair. So this is I use this on Wednesdays and I use this one on Sundays. Well, on Wednesdays I just deep condition. That's it. I'll deep condition my hair, I'll rinse that out, and I'll co-wash only if I need to, only if I feel like my hair is dry, which I very rarely have to because my hair is really moisturized. And when I do co-wash, I use my Aussie Moist. I love this stuff. It helps me deep condition and it smells good. It smells like coconut. Really like this. So that's on my Wednesdays. Wednesdays is really simple um, as far as deep conditioning, especially on Wednesdays. I just deep condition, rinse it out, add my leave-ins, retwist, done. 
very rarely i don't even blow dry air dry it which you i'll show you um, i'll link my air drying video underneath as well and that's it okay so after a deep condition i wash i only if i need to do this bad boy as far as leave-ins you guys know and if y'all don't know i'll link um my um perfect combination <laughs> that was good but um i use i love my cantu shea butter and my shea moisture retention these two together i love them i think they are a perfect combination for my hair it really works wonders i really 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 like this together another deep i'm sorry another leave-in that i tend to use depending on how i'm feeling usually i'll use this if i'm considering blow drying but there's a lot of times that i just use it just be using it and it has them do a blow drying but if i am going to just air dry um sometimes i will reach for my direct leaf and my giovanni which i do love you got to be careful with this because some, you have to use a generous amount however if you use too much your hair will be way too hard so you got to be careful with this but i do like this um, the other thing that I've been using for the last few weeks, which I really like, oh my goodness, is the Care Care Leave-In Conditioner for the Natural Textures line. Yes. Ex the days that this works the best, in my opinion, would be on my Wednesday's washes because the moisture is just 100 percent moisture in my hair i deep condition my hair and i just i just rinse it out and i add this to it with the moisture that's already in that bad boy <sighs> just let me let me feel this for a minute oh yeah yeah so between the four of those those are my leave-ins with this um when i once i apply my leave-in i'll seal it with either um my oil my um my swag oil <laughs> or i'll use my one and only argan oil which you all know that it's a lot of us on youtube that love this like i have this much left because i love it to death and i'll um just seal it with this and i'll just do my air drying thing uh okay as far as my protein now i've always been protein sensitive however my hair does need protein and my hair will tell me now let me just say this i am not one to stick i have a regimen which i'll talk about in the next video and exactly what i do i mean really break it down which i guess i'm kind of doing now but i'll do another video really breaking it down but i'm not one to stick to my regimen if my hair needs protein treatment i'm going to do a protein treatment if my hair needs moisturizer i'm going to do a moisturizing treatment I'm going to do what my hair tells me. And I have a video coming up about, up about that, about really listening to your hair. Your hair is talking to you, and a lot of times we just ignore it. Like we ignore our kids that be crying. Is it just me? Okay, sorry. But really, you know, pay attention to what your hair is telling me. Well, I have a video coming up about that. So what I've been using, which I love, and my hair has responded so nicely to, of course, is the Olive Oil Professional Replenishing Conditioner. I really like this bad boy for my hair. My hair really responds really nicely to this. Plus, you all know it smells good. It smells like orange. Um, what's it called? Um, the sweet orange oil. It smells really good. My hair really responds to this. So, I if I need to, instead of my moisturizing, instead of this, um, I'll use this. That's like if I feel like I really need it. And a lot of times, I'll just mix some of this in with this deep condition and my hair is like thank you so much <laughs> so that's what I do for my protein as far as my alpha g2 minute I do have it but I use more of that for when I do uh, my texturizers not too much just on a regular basis because this works really really good for my hair okay so what's left um I didn't bring my moisturizer down here, did I? Okay, so let's just talk about the moisturizers. You guys know, and if you haven't seen it, I'll definitely link the um, video below on how I moisturize and seal my hair. My number one moisturizer still is um, the Elastic QP. I don't, I'll put a picture if I can, if I can find one, but um, I left it upstairs and I don't really feel like I'm gonna get it, just being honest. 
um, is my Elastic QP. I love it. To me, it's the one that really moisturizes my hair the best. It really moisturizes my hair. The only thing that came close, well, the only thing that may be better than the Elastic QP would be my Be My Luscious. Love it, but haven't ordered it in a long time because I don't feel like ordering stuff. I'm sorry, I just can't. I don't have patience to really be ordering stuff, but um, I think I will be placing an order soon just because I kind of miss it. But I'm happy with my Elastic QP, so I'm not going to order something that I haven't um, tried before. So my Elastic QP is what I moisturize and seal with. Um, however, when my hair is out like this, especially like right now, I am... Oh, I have to be 10 weeks post and I'm gonna try to get close enough so you guys can see but my new growth is off the hook can you see that it's really my hair does spirals see like the spiral curls my hair just spirals and that can be a little bit dangerous if your hair is not moisturized well because of course with all those all that turn and that's what makes natural hair more needing more moisture and our relax us relaxed ladies we need more protein we lose protein with moisture with our relaxers however for naturals they they don't lose any protein so they have their protein but what they need is the moisture to handle all those coils and that's what those that new growth actually needs so when i need to moisturize this i'll oil it of course i put my um swag oil on my scalp or my this pure castor oil pure coconut i'll put something um to help with my scalp but just for my new growth as well as moisturizing my hair i use one or two things uh, as far as like a spritz well no i'm changing that my elastic QP is more for the length and the ends of my hair. That's more when my hair is straight and I'm going with that, especially after I blow dry and I want to retain that. But when I've kind of air dried and I'm kind of just letting it kind of do its thing, my elastic QP works, but it doesn't work as well just because I don't prefer to be pulling on my hair at that point. So I use one or two things. I'll use my moisturizing spritz which if you've been with me for a while, you know what this is. And of course I did a video on it and I'll link it at, in the in, um, description box if you wanna know what is in my moisturizing spritz. Um, other than that, I did go back to Old Faithful and Old Faithful has been doing amazing jobs for me. And that's my S curl, no drip. No drip, it's, it's good, it's good. It's real good. Now you have to use this sparingly because it, to me, it does leave a film on your hair if you use too much. However, I don't use a lot. I actually pull the, the bottle out way out and I'll let it spritz onto my hair from, you know, way out. And I'll just let the spritz fall, I mean the um, formula fall onto my hair and I'll moisturize it. Then I'll take it and I'll spritz it directly into the scalp or onto the new growth and I'll just massage and right now my new growth is nice and soft love it really love it so um, that's what I moisturize with and to seal I either use of course my swag oil what's in here castor oil jojoba oil um, coconut oil Castor oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil. Um, I think I have some avocado oil in here. Did I say jojoba already? Um, and I think that's it. There may be something else in here, but that's pretty much it. No, sweet almond oil is in here too. And this is what I seal with. Um, especially when I'm using my Elastic QP. And the reason for that is my Elastic QP we all know it's a protein so i don't want to put protein on top of protein so i'll put i'll use my protein um moisturizer which is the last qp then i'll seal it with this natural oils okay however when i'm using one of these two things this is straight moisture for me i want to make sure that my hair is still protected as far as protein sorry <laughs> as far as protein so i've been using my um, nourishing coconut milk by organics 
my anti-breakage serum and I love it. To me, these two together and my hair not only makes my hair soft as crap and manageable, but more importantly, it helps it look ridiculously healthy. Y'all might be like, which one is only your eyes? Well, that's the only eyes that matter. It's my eyes right now, right? These two make my hair look really healthy, make my hair feel really good. It's not hard even in the tiny bit. I love these two together. Y'all feel, do y'all hear that? Y'all hear it? Who, who, who is singing that? Love of Okay, sorry. So, like these two together. So, when I use this on my moisturizing spritz, I will seal with this. Uh, of course, in the morning when I'm just jumping up, going out the house, I will reach for my uh, one and only Argan, throw a little bit of this on my hair. Hair is well protected, nice and shiny, and I'm ready for the day. So those are the products that I've been using in my hair right now, and my hair has really been thriving. I've had no setbacks. No, I mean, my hair has just been really doing amazing and as i love the thickness of my hair again it's just good stuff really good stuff so um the only other thing as far as supplements that i have been taking i did order the um hair affinity i take these along with my other vitamins which i'll talk to you guys about on um, my supplement regimen but they work that's what i'm gonna say until i give you a real um a real review but thus far I like it a lot they work so that's about it that's my hair update and the products that I'm using right now of course um, I've gotten so many questions which I plan on doing a video for that hopefully before the end of the weekend um, that's it if you have any questions definitely leave them uh, send me a private message or leave them in the dis um, the comments box I love you guys so much and I miss you guys so much we have so much to talk about i really want to talk to you guys about whitney houston i i feel like a person in my personal family has passed away that's that's how much her death has actually affected me personally i um yeah we'll talk about that um rihanna and chris brown i want to get i want to get my two cents about this whole basketball wives and the Braxton's. I really want to just give y'all some of my hot topics. So that's just something I just, oh, I'm sorry. That's something I decided to, um, you know, incorporate into my channel as hot topics because I be wanting to tell y'all what I be thinking. And sometimes y'all don't really want to know, but you know, you just don't watch that particular video because I'm going to tell you anyway. So that's it. Love you guys. And uh, as always, as always, especially to my new dreamers, find the closest mirror to you. Find and embrace the beautiful dreamer in you and in everything you do. Be a blessing to somebody. Be kind to somebody today. As always, guys, please recognize God is the final and ultimate authority over your life. I love you guys so much. I miss you like crazy. Oh, you remember that song? I miss you like crazy. There's just no getting over you. And I'm no, okay, sorry. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>